Hi guys, welcome again. This time I have something very special for you. Um, this is one of the craziest game in free player that I've, I've ever seen or played or whatever participated. Uh, actually, this game was watched by a couple of players who also said the same thing. So uh, please trust me on that. This should be pretty fun. Um, we get into Olympia, and this is a weird scenario for Olympia. Uh, this is why Olympia is one of the wonders that's um, looked down upon, I would say, in free player and in higher player counts as well, but it's very evident here. Uh, Babylon um, has like a clear path for green. Uh, also, Babylon has priority over me for green because it's before me in the second era and we are against Colossus, we have priority over red, but, you know, it's Colossus, so so everything can happen. So we are kind of without the path here. Uh, but I decided to try to break priority for green, uh, because Babylon is one of the wonders that can, like, mm, it's worst when using priority and setting up for the second era, just because it doesn't start with the gray resource. So I decided to try to, to play for that. Uh, here there are a couple of options. There is Timber Yard, of course, that would be a natural pick almost all the time. But there is also Glassworks, there is Altar, there is Marketplace even. Some might consider that. Some might try to set up with Timber Yard so you start with East Trading Post. I wouldn't do that, but if you were, for example, Ephesus, this might be a cool play sometime. Uh, so here I just started with the Glassworks. No, sorry, marketplace. <laughs> yeah, uh, and one thing that I uh, said in my guide about free player is that you, uh, the greys are overrated, and I still support that. Except uh, there is like, if you plan to go for green, you have to play the greys for for green strat. Uh, that's the that's the rule. Uh, here I just went guard tower. This game is so crazy that I might not remember everything. And as you can see, it's already shaping up very weird. So um, Babylon has all the resources right now. Uh, Ro uh, all the brown resources, I mean. Rodos has a lot of greys. <laughs> uh, so he's probably setting up for green. But like we already know from the second hand that all the green were stuck on one hand. So I'm trying to get two out of uh, three from this hand. And yeah, it's it's very weird, as you can see. Rodos is just, you know, adding some stuff. I decided to add Altar. I, I thought that would be a nice addition. Uh, I'm not really sure about this, to be honest. Um, I think this should have been Glassworks uh, to essentially guarantee that I have the second green in my hand. Um, usually I rate Altar really high um, in these scenarios, but this is already a game where the player who will be before me in the third era has um, a strong gray setup. So by playing Glassworks, I can actually um, do a lot of stuff here. So in my guide, I say that grays are overrated. Here, I actually make a mistake. I think I underrated how strong uh, Glassworks would be just here. My, my mistake comes from the fact that I want to try to play Olympia for the free builds and utilize its um, wonder stages. And I'm still testing that stuff out. I'm, I haven't found a build that I'm quite happy with yet. Uh, and Altar is obviously a huge part of that. Here, um, I just went Orvain, I think. Or I threw. That's actually a hard question. I don't remember, honestly. I, I can see the throw here as well. Uh, let, let's just see. Yeah, I threw that. I'm not sure, but I, I, I get the I get one of the greys anyway. Like you can count it that this guy won't be interested in the soul scriptorium, probably. But you you'll never know. the The throw was to to get me to school in the in the next round because that will require free gold. And like one or doesn't give me much to be honest. So I, I think actually that that play was was really good. 
and here is like this is the nightmare where, where you play the green strat this is the nightmare this means that you only get two green cards um but also it means that you get like exactly the two green cards um, but also you cannot get aqueduct nor vineyard nor glass nor glassworks but he actually built the glassworks so that's quite good for us um, here i usually say um, that school is very important for for green and it is uh, but when you are low bowling green i think library is more important because it lets you build the blue one so as you can see this guy is just enjoying this game he's like in a superior position to all of us and here couple options i can break uh, break him with hiding quarry i can also play just stables here that can be very decent as well i think i just decided to play the stables if i play the quarry and break him he actually just gets the stables he has very good resource base i don't think breaking him on resources is actually that powerful like i would actually like for him to play play the quarry no sorry i just totally miss yeah that was the reason for quarry but i i got the foundry that's just for this stage i think that's a mistake like th this hand should have been stables um I'm not that invested in, in that and usually you want to play the foundry so um, you for example you have access to um, the, uh, how is it called dispensary I always forget uh, but I already have access to dispensary so I, I think foundry here is actually very weak and this is one of the uh, one of the reasons why I like reviewing my games because I can found place like this this is terrible I was in a camp when I thought that, okay, I play stables, he will play one of the reds, so I, I cannot cannot actually compete on red. Um, but he's just like, he's so slow that maybe I can compete with one or the other, or just like pressure them enough in the third era. I, I think it was a pretty weak play. Uh, so here... Um, there is no reason for like if i played the red i could hide walls for example from this hand um, and now i would enjoy at least winning over colossus he gets into school which i think is really weird and really weak but that's okay um so brickyard would be probably more potent than than this but not not by much and here I think I just played the card house. I, I just no, I played the brickyard. Sorry guys. I I thought that I cannot make it. Mm, but but I think this is another pretty weak one. Um because when I think about it, actually foundry makes more sense just because of this guild. While Brickyard doesn't help me much. You usually want to have access to free bricks when you're playing against green for this guild. S so I think this, this was actually pretty weak. Um, my reasoning for that, now I remember, is that I can actually play my wonder all the way because I have marketplace uh, that's fully operational. Uh, um, that, uh, I don't think that's, that's a lot. That's like four points. So here I would prefer card house um, another really really weird one um, dispensary lets me get arena uh, and I was actually planning to play the wonder stages so that's why I chose dispensary um, it's a little hard to play um, to play both of the uh, cogs in the last round without access to um, to one at least here like um, the other one one costs me four and the other one costs me two so that's six gold I I'm not getting six golds here um, but I can plan on making use of one of my stages but we'll see how it goes I, I want a dispensary here I think it's a small mistake
here I actually get the stables and this is one of the parts where Colossus actually works really well because normally I would just hide the stables but I cannot hide the stables because then I don't win red um, I don't know um, I, I, I think it's okay to play the stables here but it's not, not like the best uh, you can also hide hide I will draw on fight instead of winning uh, but I will have more stages built and I maybe can have some impact with uh, arena and stuff like that and here again um, wh when you think about it I'm probably not winning red in third era that's that's a big ask so this needs to be treated as just three points and as you can see three points is lower than four points so maybe I was better hiding stables and getting courthouse but this game is so weird <laughs> that you cannot really like think about all the things. Here Babylon is enjoying a really nice game. It has uh, both duels, Caravanserai and Forum. So that's like, I don't know. If, if there is a better resource base, please let me know. Um, but he, maybe he overthrew on, on gray and he has no support for green. Uh, I was honestly a bit, a bit surprised that he, he doesn't like um, splash the green, especially that he has the form. But that's okay. He splashes it in, in the end. And this is like, we kind of, you know, did something weird. He's just doing like the, the normal plan that kind of all the, all the people have. Um, here I, I get the palace. Um, it's just the best card and both of them can play it. So I'm stealing it from them Here there was unfortunate that I don't get Pantheon, but you know his resource base is so good that it's to be expected and Here is the sad part. I was counting on uh, Observatory and study being on two separate hands, but unfortunately they are on one. I still need to play the observatory Uh, here I just played a lot just because it's it's the best here, but it's not great um, Here I, I need to play university uh, Arena is just too bad This time I can actually play the red um, Because I can win against one of them um, The on there is no way for them to play a red and me not winning and I can actually win both with with the single siege workshop but he obviously plays a red um, and on the last hand gardens is still better so the, the end was wasn't terrible but of course uh, my green is far from perfect as you can see it's very very weird In the end, this guy loses both reds, which I think is a small mistake. Like, he, he shouldn't be able to win, to lose both reds. And in the end, I narrowly escape victory, I would say, uh, by, by going 51 to, to his 52. And let's, like, he really had the perfect start. He, he dominated red for h2, and he had, like, all the duels and all the stuff, and he even got, like, a good guild. <laughs> So that was really crazy game. In the end, Col uh, Rados was like very, very behind. It's just when you played eight cards for resources and a single school, you are probably not getting a good score here. So, so that that's why. But here, like this overthrow on uh, on the Grace, I think almost cost him the game. And on the other hand, I was very efficient with my place. I would say. Um, I in the end I just get palace. I think that's like the the good scoring card. Others are pretty bad. Uh, there is winning reds also with 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 a, with few of them. Uh, but I don't get much more than that. My my the key to my success was kind of not spending money because I very rarely paid someone in this game. And the other one is. Um, just playing 
a lot of point cards. Um, I played, I think I've played three and I threw one. So that's uh, that's something. And maybe I will explore this Olympia when I find something, I will report this. But I think there is something to, to playing Olympia, maybe for green. Uh, I always said that this stage looks good to play for green. Maybe there is something here. I haven't found it yet. Um, but but maybe maybe I will and then I will report back to you guys. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it and see you later. Bye.